kids. How's everybody doing today? I hope y'all had a chance to go play out in the snow, maybe build a tiny, tiny little baby snowman before it all melted away. Kind of having weird weather around these parts this week. Well, what we're going to do today is we are going to be painting a little fox. So what you need out of your, um, your bag of goodies is your watercolor paper. I'm obviously working on a tiny piece because that's all that will fit in my screen here, but you need your piece of watercolor paper. You should have one piece of this left, I think, in your bag. Um, your watercolor paint set with the brush in it. The black crayon that was in there. Of course, you're going to need a pencil. And then you'll also need a jar of water and a rag or paper towel or something like that nearby to kind of clean your brush off on. Now I'm working on a tiny piece of paper, like I said, cause that's the easiest way for me to make sure everything fits on the screen. And I'm also going to draw darker than I should because I'm the teacher. <laughs> but there at home, you need to remember to draw light until you get it right. We're going to be drawing this little fox on here really, really light today. Then when we know we have all the lines just right, we're gonna go back over it with a black crayon and darken those lines. But you wanna draw really light here at first so that you'll be able to erase your lines. Remember when we use watercolor paints, our pencil lines are gonna show through there. We're not gonna be able to cover them up. So you need to draw really light so that you can erase any mistakes or anything that you, that you want to change. But I'm breaking the rules and I'm drawing darker so you can see what I'm doing on your screen. Well, let's get started. Okay, towards the top left-hand side of your page, you're just going to draw a little dot, just like that. And I'm already erasing because I want to scoot it over a little bit. There we go, just like that. Then over that dot, you're going to draw a rainbow-shaped line. Just like that. Now this is kind of giving us an idea of where our fox is going to be. This is actually his nose and the top of his head. But we drew those first so you can kind of put all the other pieces where they need to go and make sure that, you, and it will help you to make sure that you have room for all of your pieces. So after we have his nose and the top of his head, we are going to draw some half circle shapes starting here at the edge of the rainbow and going to his nose. So half circle here, and then come over to the other side and do the same thing. Ha Oops, my pencil broke. <laughs> Go half circle there, down to his nose. Then we're gonna put two little eyes right over those little half circles that we have there, just like that. If at any point during the video I get to going too fast, please press pause <laughs> until you get caught up. I tend to go really, really fast. And since I'm not there to see what you're doing, I can't slow down and wait for you um, like I like to do in the studio. So this is kind of challenging for teachers too. So if at any point you need to pause, go ahead and pause that. Okay, now we're going to make his little whisker, not really whiskers, kind of his little I don't know, his little fluffy cheeks maybe? I don't know what you would call these. But we're gonna come over here and we're gonna draw a little bit of a curved line, not as curved as this one, but a little bit of a curve. And then to connect these two, we're gonna draw some zigzags, just like that. Perfect. Now, let's put his ears on. His ears are gonna go over his eyes and they are kind of curved triangles like that. Curved triangle there and a curved triangle there. And then from the top of that curved triangle, we're gonna make another curved line coming down like this. That way we can see the outside of his ears and the inside of his ears. So our fox is looking pretty cute already. But now we're going to go on and draw his body. We're going to start with that fluffy 
um, his fluffy neck here that kind of hangs down. Kind of looks like a tie. If your dad wears a tie, it kind of looks like a tie. So I don't know if you can hear Clifford. My dog, he has got to be the barkiest dog of all dogs. I thought I had him quiet. Now he's barking at me again. <laughs> okay, back to the fox. We're going to go down and in just a tiny bit and down with a little bit of curve and in just a tiny bit and then a curve. Now we're going to make another line on the other side exactly the same. And this is called a symmetrical line. Symmetrical means the same on both sides. So we're gonna come down here and do another line, same as this on the other side. It's gonna go down and in and curved and in and a curve down at the bottom. So there's our fox with his tie on. <laughs> So next we need to draw his body. Now his body, he has a little bit of a neck like that, and then it's gonna come out and be kind of a fat body. So we're gonna come down like this and out and around back up to his bow tie. And I'm gonna finish that body on this side. Like that, then erase that line right there. That's why you got to draw light because we're going to be erasing some lines. Now on my little fox here, I don't think he's fat enough and I think he's too long. So I'm going to erase. Remember the eraser is our friend. And I'm going to make him come down. Ah, that's better. Make him a little bit fatter. Erase those lines. I'm having trouble with this mechanical pencil. I thought this mechanical pencil would be a good idea, but it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> I'm going to trade it out real quick. Ah, much better. Good old fashioned pencil. Okay, next, what we're going to do is we're going to draw his little fox legs. So he's going to have one come out here and kind of around and back up and another one coming down and around and back up and then back here I'm just going to kind of draw something that looks like that with a line down that might be his two feet his two back feet together then we're going to do his big swishy tail that is as big as his head just like that He's looking pretty cute, I think. Okay, so I think what I want to do next is I'm going to give him a horizon line so he doesn't look like he's floating. So just a line right across there. Ah, that looks better. I also think I want to come up here and maybe make this a little bit fatter. Add some to that. And then erase what I don't need. Oh, he's looking so cute. Okay, then up here on his tail. I'm gonna come back up here. And make kind of some zigzags across. Yeah, what a cute little fox we have. <laughs> now we've got all this space down here that we can do whatever we want to. Isn't that always a good feeling? So I'm just gonna draw kind of a tall stem right here and then maybe some short stems medium sized stem then I'm going to make some circles now you can do whatever kind of flowers you want on here I'm just going to do some little circle flowers with stems and circles on top Really simple, but cute. I think they're cute anyway. Just like that. How cute is that? Now, I want to add a different kind of flower. I think I'm going to put one right here. 
And again, just a real simple one. But it's going to be a circle with another circle inside and another circle inside. And maybe some little leaves down here right at the bottom just to be cute. I think I'll do another one of those kind of right here. A circle and a circle and a circle to the leaves at the bottom. Don't forget to pause if I go too fast because I know I'm going super zippy quick right now. <laughs> so pause me when you need to. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more of those circle flowers and be done with my flowers. Circle, circle, circle. Little leaves down here at the bottom. Now, I am really liking my fox picture. So right now at this point, I'm gonna stop with the pencil. I've erased the lines I don't want. I've got it all set the way I want it to look. And I'm just gonna go over everything with my crayon. I'm sure I am going way faster than you because I'm working on a little piece of paper and you are probably working on the big piece. Remember, if you make a mistake on this part that you can't erase, you can always flip over your paper, start the video again, and draw another one on the back that you might like a little better. Mine's kind of looking more like a cat right now. <laughs> Sometimes I may sit down at my watercolor table or my easel and I'll have an idea of what I think I'm going to paint and then it changes. So like right now, I have a fox that's looking a little bit kitty cat-ish to me. And that's okay. One time I sat down at my watercolor table to paint a flower and instead I painted a cow. <laughs> and that's okay because I sold that painting of that cow and then I have sold Lots of prints of that painting of that cow since then. Just goes to show you, you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, so now we have that. 